Mars, our mysterious red neighbor in the vastness of space. It's half the size of Earth, with an atmosphere that tells a story of potential, but also of challenge. Unlike Earth, Mars's atmosphere lacks oxygen and is dominated by carbon dioxide. Yet, intriguingly, Mars experiences seasons just like our planet. A day on Mars is strikingly similar to Earth's, lasting 24 hours and 40 minutes. But a Martian year? That's a whole other story. It's nearly twice as long thanks to the planet's greater distance from the Sun. This distance also makes Mars much colder. Nighttime temperatures can plummet to a bone-chilling minus 90 degrees Celsius, creating a world both fascinating and harsh. Despite these extremes, Mars holds a glimmer of promise. Its polar ice caps are packed with frozen water, hinting at a future where humanity might thrive. But how? Scientists believe the key lies in transforming the Martian environment. Imagine this, recreating an atmosphere that protects against the sun's radiation and retains life-sustaining oxygen. That's no easy feat. Until then, the best option might be underground. Many scientists suggest living in caves or subterranean habitats, where natural insulation could shield us from storms and temperature swings. These environments could be the cradle of Martian colonization, offering a safe starting point for humanity's next great adventure. And then there's Elon Musk, the visionary CEO of SpaceX who dreams of going even further. His proposal? giant magnets to regenerate Mars's magnetic poles, and in a bold twist, the use of nuclear explosions to accelerate the reconstruction of the atmosphere. Why such an extreme idea? Martian soil is rich in CO2, and detonating a nuclear device could release oxygen, creating the building blocks of a breathable atmosphere. The magnets at Mars's poles would then work to hold this newfound oxygen in place, slowly transforming the planet into a new frontier for human life. It sounds like science fiction, but every great leap in human history once did. Mars presents a challenge like no other, a test of our ingenuity, our perseverance, and our drive to explore. Could these radical ideas propel us toward becoming an interplanetary civilization? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, the journey to Mars is just beginning, and the possibilities are as vast as the universe itself. For centuries, Mars has captivated our imagination. From ancient astronomers who tracked its fiery path across the sky to science fiction writers who envisioned it as a second Earth, the red planet has held a unique allure. And now, that allure is transforming into a tangible goal to establish a permanent human presence on Mars. What drives this ambition? Partly, it's the sheer spirit of exploration, the urge to push the boundaries of human ingenuity. But there's more to it than that. Mars represents a backup plan, a potential lifeboat for humanity in the face of Earth's growing challenges. If Mars is humanity's backup plan, there's one thing we'll definitely need to figure out. How to grow food on the red planet. Without sustainable agriculture, surviving on Mars will be impossible. But how do we grow food in an environment so hostile and alien to anything we've ever known? Growing food on Mars a concept that feels both exciting and daunting. While we've made progress by simulating Martian soil here on Earth, scientists are conducting tests to see how greenhouse farming could work in such an alien environment. The results are promising, but the risks are far from simple. Imagine this, potential contamination of Martian soil. What if microscopic life exists there? Humans living on Mars would face serious health risks. Our immune systems, shaped over generations by surviving diseases like cholera, typhoid fever, hepatitis A, and more recently COVID-19, might not stand a chance against unknown pathogens from another planet. Think about it. Our immune defenses have evolved through earthbound challenges, but humanity has never been exposed to extraterrestrial threats. It would be like thawing a prehistoric virus in Antarctica and unleashing it upon modern humans. A scenario that could be catastrophic. Could Mars harbor such dangers beneath its red soil? And then there's the mystery. Over the years, photos from Mars have sparked speculation. Could it be that millions, perhaps billions of years ago, a civilization once thrived on this distant world? The signs are faint, but the questions remain. Was Mars a cradle of life before it became a barren desert? Even with all these threats, humanity's curiosity and ambition drive us to explore, to push boundaries, and to seek answers. 
Mars is a challenge unlike any we've faced before, but it's also a beacon of possibility. Despite the risks, we dream of one day calling the red planet home and turning that dream into reality. The race to Mars gained momentum when Elon Musk boldly set his sights on the red planet. His vision goes beyond merely reaching Mars. It's about transforming humanity into a multi-planetary species. This ambitious dream has inspired millions across the globe, igniting a new era of exploration and innovation. This journey to Mars is an incredible leap for humanity, but also one of the greatest challenges we've ever faced. Imagine this. 100 people aboard a spacecraft, traveling through the vast emptiness of space. For years, they live in isolation, surrounded by darkness, with nothing but the hum of the ship to break the silence. And here's the catch. This journey is one way. There's no turning back, no return ticket. Once they leave Earth, Mars becomes their new home, no matter what challenges lie ahead. To survive, these pioneers would need to grow their own food in greenhouses. Every seed planted and every crop harvested would be a lifeline. But food isn't the only problem. They'd also need to figure out how to produce drinkable water, perhaps by extracting it from the Martian soil or recycling every drop they use. This journey isn't just about traveling to another planet. It's about creating a new way of life in one of the most hostile environments imaginable. The risks are immense, but so is the promise of a new chapter for humanity. The question is, would you take that one-way ticket to the red planet? Now, it's time for speculation. Let's imagine a future where humanity has not only reached Mars, but has overcome its challenges. Against all odds, we've prospered, terraformed the red planet, and turned it into a habitable and sustainable world. When that moment comes, the humans who accepted this monumental challenge would become the new inhabitants of Mars. They'd bring with them the immense knowledge and technology we've built on Earth. Constructing pyramids, organizing societies, creating laws, and carrying forward everything we've achieved as a species. But doesn't this sound familiar? Could this be a reflection of what happened thousands of years ago here on Earth? Think about it. Where did the knowledge and technology to build the pyramids come from? The Egyptians, the Mayans, how did they master these monumental feats with such precision and alignment? Could it be possible that in the distant past, interplanetary civilizations from other planets, or perhaps even from distant solar systems, found Earth? Could they have shared their technologies with early humans, planting the seeds of what we now see as ancient wonders? And now, here we are. Venturing into the cosmos, reaching for Mars, and dreaming of creating a new world. Are we unknowingly repeating the cycle, becoming the very beings we speculate about? This journey raises more questions than answers. Could there be intelligent life in other corners of this vast, ever-expanding universe? And if there is, what might they think of us? As we take our first steps toward becoming an interplanetary species, we're not just exploring Mars, we're exploring the mysteries of our own existence. The dream of colonizing Mars is audacious, challenging, and fraught with risk. It is a vision that has captured the imagination of scientists, engineers, and dreamers alike for generations. The Red Planet, with its barren landscapes and harsh conditions, presents a formidable challenge but also an incredible opportunity. But it is also a testament to the boundless potential of human ambition and ingenuity. Our journey to Mars is not just about reaching a new destination. It is about pushing the limits of what we can achieve as a species. The technological advancements and scientific discoveries that will come from this endeavor are beyond our current imagination. We are a species that has always sought to explore the unknown, to push the boundaries of our knowledge and capabilities. From the first steps on the moon to the exploration of distant planets through telescopes, our history is rich with examples of our relentless curiosity and drive. While we may not set foot on Mars tomorrow, or even in the next decade, the journey has already begun. The rovers that traverse the Martian surface, the plans being drawn up by space agencies, and the rigorous training of astronauts are all steps towards this monumental goal. With each passing day, we are making strides towards turning science fiction into scientific reality. 
The development of advanced space technology and the conceptualization of habitats on Mars are bringing us closer to making this dream a reality. And who knows, perhaps one day, the red planet will no longer be a distant world, but a second home for humanity, a place where future generations will live, work, and thrive, continuing the legacy of exploration and discovery that defines us as human beings.